Hi everyone, this is Sindhil Kumar from Hindustan College of Engineering and Technology, Coimbatore. In this presentation, we discuss about stone column. Introduction about ground improvement techniques. The ground improvement techniques are commonly used at sites where the existing soil conditions are expected to lead to unsatisfactory performance. That is a low bearing capacity soil mass, can't able to withstand its structural load. So soil ground improvement techniques are used to increase the strength and stiffness of the soil deposit. Method of soil improvement. The first one is ground improvement techniques. There are several techniques can be done in the cohesive soil and cohesionless soil. First one is drainage or surcharge, deep dynamic compaction, electroosmosis, compaction grouting, blasting and surface compaction. And second one is ground reinforcement. It comes under stone column, soil nailing, micro pile, jet grouting, ground anchor, geosynthetics, fiber reinforcement, lime column and vibro concrete column. And third one ground treatment by using soil lime, admixtures or fly ash and dewatering, heating and freezing techniques and vitrification techniques. An introduction of stone column, a ground improvement techniques where vertical column of compacted aggregates are formed through the soil to be improved. And stone column is used for both cohesive soil and silty sand to increase its strength and decrease compressibility. It involves discrete inclusion that reinforce the soil and suited for widespread loads and soils have low to medium safe bearing capacity. These are found economical and foster in construction. Stone column in saturated cohesive soil work as drainage system and decrease consolidation time and lateral expansion of the column due to ramming will induce excess pore pressure in clay soils it is effectively used for large area stabilization the stone columns are extensively used to improve the bearing capacity of poor ground and reduce the settlement of structures built on them this picture shows the construction sequence of stone column the first one is penetration second one stone feeding into the borehole and third one is compaction by using hammer and fourth one is finishing the stone column. This picture also shows the construction sequence of stone column, how the stone column can be constructed below the soil mass and above that you can construct any structure. For the satisfactory design and installation of stone column, the following information is necessary. First one is soil investigation as per IS 1892 and groundwater level and its condition how where the groundwater table will be located from the ground surface it can be noted and general layout of structure showing foundation system loading pattern and intensity from structural analysis and sufficient information of structures existing nearby field load test to conduct the test on stone column for the evaluation of load settlement behavior of soil mass for a single column test, the number of column required is 7. For a three column group test, number of column is 12. These are the equipments used to conduct the field load test. First one is steel plate or precast circular concrete footing. Second one footing should cover the equivalent circular effective area. Sand blanket of size not less than 300 mm above the ground surface. And groundwater table to be maintained at the base of footing by dewatering techniques. This picture shows the single stone column test. The totally seven number of columns can be constructed. At the center, one column. At the center column, you can place the loading plate. The spacing between the two columns will be 2.5 times of dia or 1.85 meter. This picture shows three column test. In this test, we totally construct 15 columns. The central three columns above that, you can place your loading plate. A test procedure for stone column. Uh, first, a load should be applied to footing by a cantilage to avoid impact or fluctuations or eccentricity. Load settlement observation is taken to 1.5 times the design load. Load increment is 1 by 5th the design load. And settlement is recorded using 4 dial gauges. The least count of dial gauge will be 0.02 mm. Applied test load to be maintained for a minimum of 12 levels. The settlement of stone column to be observed by using loading plate at different time intervals of 1 minute, 2 minute, 4 minute, 8 minute, 16, 30 up to 4 maximum 4 hours 
it may be go for 24 hours also the load settlement and time settlement relations to be plotted this picture shows the loading arrangements for single column test and this is your loading cantilage and the center there is a stone column it can be rest in the soft clay and above that you can give sand blanket for 30 cm thick and there are dial gauges are fixed at the datum bar to measure the settlement after applying the loads the acceptable settlement criteria for single stone column is 10 mm to 12 mm settlement for group of three column 25 mm to 30 mm settlement can be acceptable these all are several installation methods of stone column first one is non displacement method in that a biler and casing method direct mud circulation method rotary drill method and second one is vibro displacement method and third one vibro replacement method in that there are two process one is wet process another one is dry process wet process is suitable for soft to firm soil with high water table condition and dry process is suitable for relatively high initial strength with relatively low water table thank you